Good morning, everyone. Vita here back with another collective reading. Let's hop right into the energies and see what the guides would like you to be aware of. Heartache and loss is the first card out. There's a lot of blue, very heavy energy. Someone is feeling a loss. <clears throat> power someone's lost power they're losing power someone close to you you could be getting over some sort of heart ache heartbreak light there is light at the end of the tunnel someone sees you as the light polar opposites here so we've got this dark heavy heartache and loss and then we have this bright light energy this light worker energy the sun power strength and at the bottom we have victory and success so you are becoming victorious over whatever heartache you might have been plagued with as of late and or someone connected to you energetically is going through a very difficult time. They see you as the light. Take it how it resonates. What else? Whew. Prosperity begins. Prosperity is beginning after a long road. You could have had to slay some inner demons of your own as a part of your ascension, your transformation. Prosperity is beginning for you. You're quite wise. You're an old, ancient soul. Someone sees you as wise. You could be undergoing some new studying, emotional withdrawal. Someone's very emotionally withdrawn. Harmony, solitude, seeking solitude. Let's keep going. One more card from this deck. a lot of cards that just fell out partnerships and alliances so you could be partnering with new people positive movement forward you're moving forward this is right after prosperity make no mistake you are moving forward choose wisely you could be surrounded by some deceptive envious energies at this time that's nothing new you have had a certain group that has tried to sabotage your new beginnings, your career even. Financial and material changes are underway. Light, trapped in fear. Someone is trapped in fear. Prosperity begins, may not be beginning for this person. Material harvest, new beginnings. So I'm just going to clarify all of these with the tarot. Let's see what we get. Heartache and loss. This could be a feminine energy. Heartache and loss. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups in reverse. Heartache and loss. Nine of Wands sideways. Three of Pentacles has to do with work, not wanting to give up, being forced into solitude. Someone's been forced into solitude. They're trapped in fear, light, very wounded. This person's very wounded. The devil is clarifying light. Someone's trying to dim your light. Two of Swords. Still plotting, not sure which way to go. The back is what's prominent here. Swords are in balance. Someone's mentally imbalanced between their dark and their light. Tower going through towers. This tower could be something as simple as they see you moving on, positive mo movement forward. Your prosperity is increasing. 
the devil and the light. We're going to get more on this. Let me just finish up these rows. Prosperity begins. Queen of Pentacles, clarifying prosperity again. That's quite nice with the elements of the pentacle, clarifying the prosperity, Art Priestess. So we've got Art Priestess here and choose wisely. So really pay attention. You collective do rely quite heavily on your intuitive downloads, your guidance. This is how you are able to navigate and move forward in the world and easily sail over any turbulent waves that might be directed toward you. People are envious of this ability you have, how you're able to carry yourself, how you're able to steam forward, bear your losses, positive movement forward. Empress kind of came out sideways. Seven of Swords. Knight of Swords. So this could be just something as simple as a mother figure that is sideways. The Two of Swords had shown up. There is an imbalance, a mental imbalance with a feminine energy, possibly a mother, seven of swords, knight of swords. Again, like I said, ace of swords or some sort of truth could involve magic. Someone's tried to stop your movement forward, stop someone that's coming toward you that they're connected to. Empress sideways. So a lot of feminine energy. Someone's lost their status. They're losing status. They're losing power. They're being seen as the devil when they were once seen as the light. Choose wisely. Knight of Cups. It's in the reverse. <coughs> Lovers. Someone made a really poor choice when it comes to a lover and or more than one lover. You could have an offer coming toward you. Spirit is reminding you to stay on your path. Continue to make wise decisions. Don't be lured in, into any darker um, energies, darker pathways. Deception and envy. Someone is very much envious of your ability to navigate, to pivot, to outsmart others. Deception and envy. So there's something hidden. Moon, we did see the magician card, magic, eight of swords. Someone's got some serious mental conflict going on. Seven of Wands, they're not able to breach your defenses. This is causing a major mental imbalance within this person or persons. This could be more than one person, more, more than one feminine energy. A group of women against one woman. Hmm. Moon, dark transformation. Deception, envy. Someone is in your face. This is someone that could be close to you, smiling in your face, or someone that was once close to you. They are very jealous of what you have, how you think, how you look, everything. Everything about you annoys this person, but they pretend. They pretend. Eight of Swords, and your come up continues to trap this person mentally. Financial and material changes. Six of Cups. So this could be someone from your past, a family member, could even be a mother because this did land sideways next to the Empress that is sideways. 
we're going to put that there. This could be a, a breakup within a family, money problems. Someone's being seen for who they are. Page of Cups could involve children. Leaky gut. I just got leaky gut. Someone's having stomach problems, problems with their stomach. Could be from nerves. Maybe they're not eating. Could be a child hiding an eating disorder. Ace of Pentacles, suspension. Money's been suspended. There could even be a seizure of assets. Um, something like that. This energy is kind of similar to what I was picking up yesterday. <clears throat> and it was throwing me off quite a bit, which is why I did two readings. Okay, yeah. So, they of sword showed up. And I just remember here we've got trapped in fear. Trapped in fear. Someone could be being held against their will. A child could be being held against their will. Trapped in fear. Someone could be, this could be an adult that's a very immature person. They're conducting themselves very immaturely. They're not able to control their temper. They're scaring their family. Their antics are scaring their family. They could be self-harming, trapped in fear. Four of Wands, trapped in a house. Three of Pentacles, trapped in fear, no longer harmonizing with a partner, no love absence of love afraid of not being loved again three of pentacles nine of swords there's something that this person found out online that has devastated them but with the deception and envy here this person could really be watching what you're doing online and it's creating some delusion within them that's being noticed by others. Material harvest. Death. Clarifying material harvest. This is beneath positive movement forward, clarified by the Empress sideways. So there's someone that thought they were moving forward and they're not. Something's been taken. Not something. Many things have been taken. New beginning. Someone's trying to stop your new beginning. You are undergoing a intense transformation. Might be needing to take some vitamins. I've recently started taking Geritol, which I've always attributed to being like an elderly vitamin, but it's not... But it tastes, I take the liquid and it's horrible, but I keep taking it and I do, I, I'm sleeping better. So anyway, I don't recommend it because I can't recommend medical or whatever, but that's, you could be needing some vitamins. We've got three of wands here, new beginnings. You've got, you've made some choices. You've chosen wisely. You've outsmarted someone that's trying to come towards you with some deception um, you're waiting. There's an egg, a very large egg here cooking. We could call this the nest egg. This is a purple color, royalty, color of royalty. And we've got the purple here. One, two, three, four, five hands, two birds. You've gotten some spiritual downloads, some communication. There's a dock here. And these hands, they can look underwater or in the sky. We've got the sun here. It's kind of in the background. And we've got this moon that's quite prominent here. So you could be a water sign, um, fire sign. Don't have to be. Something's cooking. Cooking. Ace of Wands. 
You're very creative. You're very passionate. You're very smart. Two of Wands. You're outsmarting, outwitting lover. Some contract, something to do with a contract. Two of Pentacles. Destiny. Six of Wands. Your destiny can't be tampered with. Victory is yours. So the Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Queen of Swords. Stay. You're, you're very sharp. Whoever you are, you're very sharp. And that's angering more than one person, it seems like. Let's use the Kipper. Nine of Wands, sideways. So we've got the moon here, too. Or it doesn't have to be the moon, but we've got this white circle between these ribbons. There's someone on the floor, defeated. Someone dancing. Someone thought they defeated you. Tried to keep you in the dark about something. There's still some force that's looming. Planning. Someone's planning something around the moon. Or did plan something around the moon cycle. Moon. Death. Trapped in fear. Someone could be hiding out in someone's home. Let's keep going. Nine of Wands, sideways, heartache and loss. Ah, so we have main male, clarifying heartache and loss. I originally said this was a feminine energy here. So this main male who could be connected to you is feeling heartache and loss over the absence of you collective. Yep. Distant horizons. They're far away from you. They're not able to move. They're not able to get closer to you. Maybe this person used to actively stalk you physically and one time they're not able to do that anymore. Devil, light. You are the light. They are the devil. They see you as the devil. Why is the devil here? Gift. Judication in reverse. Concern. So there could be some sort of lawsuit, a court case, or something that's been delayed. Someone thought they were getting a gift, an inheritance, uh, some kind of claim. They thought they want to claim something's been continued, um, mistrial, something like that. There's a lot of concern. This is a number 33. And then we've got courtship and journey. Taking the wrong path, taking a path that didn't result in the type of prosperity that they were seeking. Chose the devil over the light. Reaping what they've sown, consequences, severe consequences. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? Huh. This person could be having mobility problems, arthritis, something going on with their hands, swelling of the hands, tightness, Queen of Pentacles. Poverty. All right, so this reading's taking a damn turn. Okay, message of concern. It's in the reverse. Thief, marriage, occupation, expectation, mature man, message. All right. Why do these readings... These readings have been so convoluted and just like, what in the world is happening? Okay, so initially I did say Queen of Pentacles, prosperity's beginning. You're rebuilding something. This poverty kind of threw that off, but then we've got message of concern. You're not concerned. You're not worried about being thrown into poverty. Someone thought that they had got you basically but they didn't this person is a thief so you could be surrounded by some thieves a ring of thieves 
marriage. You could be married to a thief. Someone married a thief having to do with their work, expectation, mature man, more masculine energy. So initially I was calling this very feminine energy. We do got, we've got the Empress sideways, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Main male. So this main male could be involved with Empress sideways. Still pining after you. This might not even be you. You just got to take it where it fits, if at all. Empress sideways. Family room. False person. So, yeah, this, this masculine thought they had the Empress in the upright. Right now, she's sideways. They're realizing she is a false person. It could be a mar much darker evil force than they even knew how to anticipate. Somebody got thrown for a loop. They're discovering something that's got their stomach turning, upset, acid reflux, whatever. Serious. King of Knight of Cups. Choose wisely. Family room, family secrets, 21 underworld energy. Knight of Cups in reverse. Community. This is a community. Thoughts. Bad health. So there's awareness in a community about someone's bad health. This person could be in a leadership position in the community or well-known, like a banker, hedge fund, um, something with numbers, watching a screen, stock, trader. <coughs> the house card hasn't come out yet. Thoughts, bad health, change, distant horizon, mature woman, uh, privileged lady. The mature woman and the privileged lady keep showing up side by side. Oh, look, and then we've got the main female, wealthy man, courtship, concern. So this goes back to yesterday's reading where there's a new energy that wants to come toward you, but they could be in a marriage, have a third party spirits put a block on this person until they get their messes together but this is not coming out yet so it's in the background maybe this is what you don't know the deception surrounding this new person that wants to come toward you let's keep going moon unexpected income it's in the reverse and then we've got great fortune, despair, child, courthouse. This is yesterday's energy, but it's in the background a little bit. Someone was expecting some money that was going to net them a large return. It didn't happen. They're in despair. Has to do with a child, maybe even a new beginning. But there's court, journey, false person, house, imprisonment. Someone could even be facing house arrest, not able to travel. Maybe they have to travel heavily for work and they can't because their passport's been taken. Six of cups sideways, past person, past energy, past lives, changes, on the horizon. Number five, six of cups, sideways, two sideways, three sideways cards. Here we go. High honor to clarify six of cups, but it landed squarely on this choose wisely. So you are a high ranking spiritual individual people are seeing this you don't necessarily show up in the material world as someone with this ranking so it really throws people off 
you could meet people and they might not, you might not, I don't know, they might think that you're one way, but they feel something different about you that they can't quite put their finger on and could even be somewhat startling. You carry the light and the dark. Four of Wands, someone wants to dance with you. They're trapped in fear. A lot of fear, a lot of loss. False person. Someone is a false person. They've been found out. Child again, courthouse again. This could be child custody. This could be a paternity, something like that. Someone lied about a pregnancy. A lot of different scenarios are coming through. Hmm. Let's keep going. Death. Death to material harvest. Someone wants to, wants to cause an ending to you before your new beginning becomes more obvious. Message. So you could be receiving a message about a theft. Someone's received a message about a theft. Pathway. Lovers. Someone could have been bamboozled about a house, great fortune, a mature man. Someone made some false promises, presented themselves to be one way, turned out to be something completely different, pure evil. Three of Wands. Imprisonment came in the reverse. Child again. Change. Someone's tried to trap you over and over again using really dark energy. They're unable to do it. They're unable to strip you of your childlike ways. Let's get some uh, archetype hero. Someone wanted to be your hero. Main male. Pioneer. Pioneer, and then we've got Hedonist at the bottom, Liberator. Hmm. So this main male could have even have had some sort of idea that they thought was going to really make them a lot of money. They could have bamboozled some, in, some investors. This could have been something creative uh, or an asset or many assets. Big idea, great idea, some sort of uh, device maybe even, but nope. Liberator, mother, mentor, child magical. Let's keep going. Why is this pioneer here? Poet, so definitely something creative. And then we've got advocate, could even have been non for profit. Right, because we did see, oh yeah, victim. This energy showed up, gambler, in a reading like maybe seven or eight months ago. There was a karmic couple that was running some sort of uh, foundation that turned out to be fraudulent. Advocate just flip. False advocate advocating for victims, maybe even in the legal system. Gambler. This could be very sinister because we do know that the court systems do not always function as they should and they make victims even, they make, they're profitable from victims. Let's keep going. Ugh. Yuck. Gift. Why is this gift here? Mentor. Slave. Ooh. Priest. Child orphan. So this Midas Miser, Scribe. 
monk, nun, priest and monk, monk, nun, child, slave. Trapped in fear, high honor. So these could be, this could be a judge, judges, a network of people that are misusing their authority to trap minors, misuse them, stealing all sorts of things. Hmm. You could have created something and someone stolen it. Why is the moon here? Let's get another card for the moon. <laughs> Vampire and gossip is clarifying the moon. Liberator. So let's. Oh, right. I'm going to move all of these out of the way and focus right here. This is very interesting. So we've got deception and envy, moon, vampire, gossip, unexpected income in the reverse. So this is about manifestation, misusing abilities. This isn't just being an energy vampire. This could be something as insidious as sacrificing, animal sacrifice. Something's been found out. Something that was buried has been dug up. There's a lot of gossip in a community about it. This, These people actually look like vampires right here. They, let's see how they're both blue. Gossip and vampire. Someone's been telling a lot of lies. Gossip, vampire, deception, envy could be telling a lot of lies about you. That's come up before in the readings. You're a witch, you practice black magic, you've hexed people. This is why they're losing everything. Someone blames you for their losses. Someone blames you for all of this mess that's right here going on instead of taking accountability. and envy the burden very burdened consciousness someone is very burdened they're being seen for who they are a dark nasty person moon possibilities letting go something is telling this person to let it go this vendetta that they have against you and that it would be in their best interest to let it go we've got politics so these could be politically influential people patients you could be connected to some influential people unbeknownst to whatever group this is unexpected Income in reverse. Abundance, clarifying unexpected income in reverse. Slowing down. Receptivity. So for your abundance collective, there is not much that you have to do. Continue being creative. Continue living in your light, being authentic, being honorable, and everything will come to you. Maybe you were expecting something. It did not show up when you thought it should. That does not mean it's not coming. This is interesting here because I've never even noticed this in this card, but we've got the moon here and the sun here. The moon card is out over here in this pile that I just kind of chucked. So... You are in the process of transformation. You're balancing something out. Be patient. Be patient.
gossip. Awareness turning in. So whatever's being said about you, you're tuning into that frequency. You could be hearing conversations in your sleep. You're aware of what this is. You're aware of what this is. And maybe people are becoming aware of how much you are aware. Vampire. Going with the flow. Experiencing. Existence. Guilt. Innocence. Flowering. So someone came for you and they really tried to project their sorrow onto you to take away your innocence, take away the innocence of others while you are in the state of spiritual growth and that is just not acceptable. You see beyond the illusion, this person is having delusions. They're trying to go with the, fro the flow, fro, I almost said fro, they could have a short afro, Going with the flow. This also kind of gives me suspension vibes. Vampire. The light for this is makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. We do have gossip here and awareness. So you're aware that there's been a lot of uh, activity. People have tried to summon supernatural powers that they're not able to and it's backfired. All right, I'm gonna close this out. This kind of went super duper long for me and I'm getting a little tired. So let's keep going. Anything else, Father? So just stay on your grind, whatever that is. Don't force anything. Continue being patient, patient, patience. They want you to live in constant regret for leaving them. Your creativity is meant to be shared with the world. We know this collective. You are a creative force. And you can't hide forever. You've got to show up. Show what you've got. You have Egyptian roots and exist between realms. That could be here. And then with this vampire, like I said earlier, you've got the moon and the sun. Dark and light energy. Someone's bluffing. They are getting what they deserve. Help me understand this connection with you. Someone wants to understand this connection, this feeling, this intensity that they have. Burning, time to put the fire out. You are not stuck in a rut. Super empath, destroying egotistical maniacs without even trying. You're not even trying. This was in reverse. To cross your path with bad intentions is to lose a day of light. So people are learning the hard way that messing with you, trying to damper your light and mess with your money, especially when spirit has put you in a time of reflection and deep spiritual transformation. That's a big no-no. So, yeah, that's what I have, you guys. I will see you soon in another video. Enjoy your day.